boy. The Prowler. If he wants you, he'll get you. The Prowler tells the story of a murder spree in a small town in California. In 1945, during World War II, a woman, Rosemary, writes a letter to her boyfriend breaking up with him. Sometime later, Rosemary and her new boyfriend are both killed after attending a graduation dance by a man in an army combat uniform. 35 years later, in 1980, a group of college kids are holding a new graduation dance when the killer returns and begins to stalk and attack the students. Released in 1981 in the golden age of slasher films, a span of years in the 80s that saw the release of many films in this subgenre of horror where a psychopath is stalking and killing a group of people, usually by the use of a bladed tool of some kind. The film was co-written by Glenn Leopold and Neil Barbera, the son of Joseph Barbera, one of the founders of the animation studio Hanna-Barbera. Both writers' other work are mostly animated shows, however they did write one other horror movie together in 1984 called Too Scared to Scream, about a killer attacking people in a building in New York. The director of the film, Joseph Sito, read the screenplay and was drawn to its mystic quality. It had this strange dreamlike mood in it. It wasn't trying to be real, it was trying to be surreal in a way. At first, Sito wanted to shoot the film in the town of Avalon, California, where it is set. However, he decided to shoot in Cape May, New Jersey, which he felt had a ghost town quality. The film was shot over a period of six weeks. Because the film's death sequences were so special effects heavy, the film's entire shooting schedule was built around the filming of the effects, sometimes with a whole day dedicated to one death scene. Makeup and special effects master Tom Savini was brought in to do the film's makeup effects. Savini is well known for his groundbreaking work in the field, having created special effects and makeup for many cult classics. Savini came onto the project after he finished working on another slasher film, Maniac. Savini did all of the Prowler's kills wearing the Prowler costume in each death scene. Savini later reunited with director Joseph Sito in 1984 for Friday the 13th Part 4, The Final Chapter, a film Sito was chosen to direct as a result of directing The Prowler. The Prowler was released under the alternate title Rosemary's Killer in Australia and Europe, and the DVD I myself own, imported from England, indeed has that title. The German version of the film removes all of the gore scenes, including the revelation of the killer's identity, and replaces the soundtrack with bird and cricket sounds and the film's score with synthesizer music. This version goes by the title Die Forke des Totes, the Pitchfork of Death. It's also been recently discovered that the film was re-released to a handful of theaters in North and South Carolina as Pitchfork Massacre in 1984. It is still unknown who the distributor was, or whether they had legally acquired the rights to release the film. The film was not a major commercial success, earning less than a million during its theatrical run. But in the years since its release, the film has developed a cult following and has been on several magazines' lists of the best slasher movies of all time. <laughs> 